BC United says people ought to be allowed to operate a short-term rental on one property in addition to their primary residence. That's if they don't already have a secondary suite for short-term rental in their home. They argue the changes would benefit people who have a family property like a cabin that they would not otherwise rent. This is family property primarily, and it's certainly not going to turn into rental property uh, if they're not, uh, you know, if they determine that they can't do short term rentals there. They also want the definition of a short term rental to be brought down from less than 90 days to less than 30 days for people who may need to travel for work, like healthcare staff. But the government says the changes are loopholes and would be a step backwards when it comes to providing more affordable housing. Uh, what we need to do is find ways to get more of that housing back to people who desperately need it in our communities. And, and any suggestion to do that is actually heading the wrong direction. Premier David Eby is also pushing back on the proposals. The whole goal of the opposition is to drive holes through this legislation to make it easier for investors to do short-term rentals. That is what they are motivated by. The proposed amendments are unlikely to pass in an NDP majority government. Emily Vance, CBC News, Victoria.